Our Blue Jays reporter Scott Mitchell joins us now and Scott Jose Batista will take his well earned place in the level of excellence tomorrow. Now he led Toronto to a couple of deep playoff runs in 2015 and in 2016. What did he mean to that era of Blue Jays baseball. Well iconic is not a word you should use lightly and when you talk about Jose Batista that's exactly what he was in Blue Jays colors and when you back it up with the story he has coming over for Pittsburgh in a relatively minor trade that nobody cared about at the time and then turning into a 54 homer guy 288 home runs in a Blue Jays uniform second to Carlos Delgado and 870 eight OPS in a Blue Jays uniform across those 10 seasons. I mean this guy was one of the best players in the league and Blue Jays fans got to watch not only his um, obviously exploits at the plate the arm in right field the pizzazz with which he played the game. When you look at an era you look at Joe Carter and Robbie Alomar they were the face and Bautista and Edwin Encarnacion they were the face of this previous era and when you look at kind of what they did for this club obviously dragging them out of the doldrums and having that two year period it was a special special time and now with the benefit of hindsight you can really look at that and say if 2015 and 2016 don't happen does what happened does what's happening right now behind us happen. It probably doesn't because Rogers wouldn't commit to spending the type of money they're spending now. So Jose Bautista was a real integral part of everything about this franchise. Now earlier today Toronto optioned Alec Manoa to Triple A. It's the second time this year that they've sent their opening day starter to the minors. Uh, why did they make this move. Well it's pretty easy when you look at it they're running a six man rotation and now with the 13 pitcher cap that puts your bullpen at a disadvantage so with a couple off days coming up they have one Monday they have another one next Thursday in between a series with the Philadelphia Phillies you really didn't need that starter you need an extra arm in the bullpen and you combine that with how Manoa looked in Cleveland and it just wasn't sharp the fastball doesn't have the same zip to it he's looked better since he came back from the minor leagues but he's still a back end starter and this is what you do when you're a, a club trying to win a World Series and trying to secure a postseason spot in the middle of August now he'll be your number six starter at Triple A Buffalo and when they need another rotation mate they'll call him up but look he needs to pitch better and the message was go down there work on your command and you'll be back up here at some point. Well, Jays kick off a five game homestand against the Chicago Cubs tonight with both teams battling for a wild card spot in their respective leagues. Our Blue Jays reporter Scott Mitchell. Thank you.